To begin this process, we're going to unreel the strip from the coil and using the cut marks, size the strip to the area of installation. Here we're measuring the length of the strips for the television in the upper cabinets and the television opening in the cabinets. So I've already pre-cut strips for the back of the television and now I've cut some small jumper wires, solder onto the strips so that when I go to make my corners, I'm not bending the strip, I'm bending the wire. We've soldered the strip together and now we're going to test to make sure that our solder connections are good. And here we have all four sections of the TV strip wired up and ready to go. We're going to be getting our power for the strip light controllers from the radio in this instance. In this case, we're using the HDMI cable that was equipped with the trailer to use as a fish wire to fish our power wire from the strip to the controller. And now we'll fish the HDMI back to the television. We'll be installing the strip tape behind the trim around the television. We'll be drilling two holes to run the wires, one from the upper cabinets down to the radio cavity, and also one from around the television into the radio cavity. Inside the radio cavity is where we're gonna be mounting our controllers. Now we're going to be installing the strip tape in the top cabinets. Now we're going to be installing the LEDs around the television cavity. Next we'll be connecting the CPS connectors to the radio's power wire so that we can provide the power to the controllers. Next, we'll be attaching the wires coming from the LED strips to the controllers and then powering them up with the CPS connectors that we previously installed. To sync the remote to the controllers, remove power for 10 seconds, then reapply power and press the power button that you want to link to the zone. And that is set up with all three different colors 